Welcome back to Goblin Slayer Anime Review, episode number 8. We are here reviewing the 16th episode of the series, Onward to Adventure. This episode does finish adapting book 6, and it's a pretty good job finishing it up, adapting chapter 6 and 7, along with the epilogue. So we pick up what of last time, where the goblins are attacking... Which, if you're really curious, do they go down the same tunnel, like, where the goblins come from? They actually don't show that, that's off screen for some reason, I'm not really sure why. So, goblins that comes an interesting idea to protect the, well, his students. Gather a circle, and have basically on all quarters. Meets up with the other veteran adventurers, which is basically Spearman, which, basically those two, the rest of his party... Along with uh, Heavy Warrior. So, it's like, oh yeah, it's goblins. Yep, by the way, Spearman doesn't have his armor. Yeah, he's in casual wear. So, they basically have to inform about certain stuff. Like, eventually, like they have, they split the seven other things. They have Goblin Slayer, his party, along with Spearman and Witch. Um, minus High Elf, they go down the tunnels. Uh, Priestess takes a group of the students, basically, I think it's, um, uh, w uh, Wizard Boy, Rhea Fighter, and a couple other warriors with them to take on, to basically protect a group of trainees who are attacked by goblins, one of whom is nearly raped by them, another one is killed, they able to save them with no problem, and another one gets injured. And, of course, Wizard Boy basically has his time to shine by casting a spell and basically screaming really loud, which knocks the goblins out. Of course, they have to get away, no problem. And, of course, priests use one of their miracles. High Elf Archer basically, inform basically spreads the word with the goblins because she's the fastest runner. Makes sense. I love the fact that, Kevin, that the, lines in this, the lines in the book in this scene, I'm so happy to get that in because... Makes sense. So, they go off. Heavy War protects the remaining students. They're there. So, <clears throat> of course, he bows a big goblin. So, Goblin Sarah goes down to the tunnels. Which, yeah, this is something I do point out. That they have a plot hole. Like, okay, they know there's a nest. At least a potential nest. So, where do they go to get down there? Because the anime didn't show it. They're just randomly in the tunnels now. They sense goblins, and a high archer was returned, and she sense where the goblins are, and they take them up pretty easily, so we have to eliminate them, so he proceeds to blow a hole in the ceiling of the tunnel, and apparently flood the tunnels. Now, it is explained that he knows this area, because this is where his ruined village is, and, he, and that was the lake he drained. Yes, the lake. Killing the goblins... And a limited their nest. And because the priest is basically skills and, well, basically her achievements, she gets moved to a steel adventurer. Which, in the anime, they say is the third highest rank. In the book, they say the sixth highest rank. I thought that was kind of weird. Yeah, I'm not really sure why that I thought was a little weird. So, High Elf basically tells you she's not Orc Bog, basically the Goblin Slayer. And then, of course, we see Wizard basically decide to stop thinking he's going to hunt goblins. He's going to hunt dragons. And Rhea Fighter is going to join him as a port as his partner. Yep, these two are far party. It's like, oh, you're basically just a... Uh, we're basically the same rank and you're a girl. Yeah, he's very nervous around her, so they go off and do whatever. Cowgirl briefly shows up, which, yes, this scene is adapted from the epilogue. Where... Oh, you lighten up. It's where it's lighting up here. And did you have to drain the Lake Morrow Village? <laughs> yep. I gotta say, this actually was a pretty good episode. Yep. I enjoyed it. Yep. And that's sadly put as the last thing I can do this evening because time-wise, because I could do Case Closed, which is the only anime I do. I'm gonna save for tomorrow. And oh boy, I got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. I was hoping to get some stuff done today. But... The reason why that I'm not able to do my, I only do this video and the previous video today is because I was tied up with a yard sale today and also dealing with my second nephew's fifth birthday party. 
yeah, I was tied up with that. That's the main reason why I wasn't able to get my stuff done today, so that was mainly the reason for it. Yeah, and I spent some time with my nephews. Best I can. I spent time I spent like more with my youngest nephew than I did my other two. Well, a little bit second with the first one, I just didn't really spend much time with him at all. Because he was inside, I did see him walk around. I just didn't talk to him very much. I did try to help him set up a Nintendo Switch. Yep. Oh, and when I get my nephew for his birthday, I got him Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 for a Nintendo Switch. I got him that for his birthday. And he was very happy to get it. Yeah, but, um, I had to do that. So, tomorrow. Now, one thing I do also have ready before I end this video here is Devil's a Part Timer. I'm hoping to get a chance to do it either tomorrow, maybe, or Friday or Monday. Those two are possibilities. But who knows? It just depends. I mean, I really want to do this, but stuff keeps getting in the way, so this has been a very somewhat awkward weekend. Or so if I know I get done, no problem has been interrupted because of other stuff. But so we're like, oh that's perfectly fine. Yeah, but next weekend we will not basically go through this. Basically it's back to normal business as usual with uh next weekend. And can you believe in less than two weeks is Thanksgiving? Yes. Seriously, less than two weeks is Thanksgiving. Yep. So tomorrow I have roughly four of to go through. Not only case goals, but also One Piece, <clears throat> Spike Family, and the Rise of Hero. Uh, good news is, basically, thanks to reviewing the two anime reviews today, and of course, Dr. Stone and Jujutsu Kaisen in the last few days, well, here's something nice about it. Well, the fact that I don't have to wait until like Monday to get some, some of the stuff done. Yeah, I don't have to wait until Monday, which is great. Yes, that's one thing quite nice. And this is something also quite interesting, though. This is the first Saturday in probably a few months with no bleach. Yep, no bleach. And, of course, Tuesday. Tuesday is not free because Mr. Demi Academy is done. Yep. Um, currently, right now, nothing is slated to replace it, per se. Uh, just continuing my regular anime as usual, basically, mostly, with the exception of cases closed in One Piece. Everything else is probably got one I can tell by eight episodes of the air. And, well, everything except Jujutsu Guys and that was the only one I can think of doesn't have eight episodes to go. But mostly everything else has got eight. This one, Girlfriend Girlfriend, The Riot Show Hero. Actually, that one might have about nine left. Yeah. Depends. Basically... Is definitely not below double digits. Yes. So yes, that's a pretty much it for the review. So you do for tomorrow, my other views. And also, I do have. I should mention this too. I do have six comic corners ready to go. I just got to record them. That's the issue. Half the time, I really want to do these things, and other stuff keeps preventing me from doing it. Yep. So, see you tomorrow. Bye.